So today we're talking about the spark plug. Reading a spark plug, it's like an art form. Like there are so many threads and videos and so much information on how to read your spark plug and to have it tell you what's going on inside your engine. Now we're not gonna cover all of that because that would be a whole other weekend seminar in itself. Now, a couple tips about spark plugs. Number one, you really don't have to change your spark plugs except for every 80,000 miles or so. So spark plugs do last a long time. But here's the thing, anytime I'm doing a big upgrade to my engine, if like when I installed the Phytech or when I did different stuff, I went ahead and replaced the plugs. Because when you're making a big change like that, you kind of want to reset the system. And your spark plugs are a great way to do that. So I always replace my spark plugs whenever I'm doing a large upgrade. But I also will check my spark plugs every time I change my oil, which is like every 3,000 miles. So it's a good thing to check and make sure that your spark plug isn't telling you something uh, that's going wrong with your engine. Now thing number two, the basic spark plug is gonna be great for your 302 or your 289. Now, if you're running 700 horsepower, then yes, get the spark plug with plutonium and kryptonite lead-based goodness in it. I buy Motorcraft uh, spark plugs. Again, I'm not sponsored by Motorcraft or anything like that, but I just feel like, hey, they're Motorcraft plugs and Ford kind of sort of makes Motorcraft, so. That's what I do is I just get the uh, cheap Motorcraft plugs. Number three, check your gap. So this is a little like 99 cent tool from AutoZone that just checks your spark plug gap. And with every spark plug that you get, you just wanna check your gap and make sure that it's right. These things are in like these flimsy little boxes and they can get banged around and this spark plug gap can change. But the reason that when you go to AutoZone or Napa or wherever it is, the reason they ask you what engine you have is so that they can give you a spark plug that's pre-gapped, which is great. But go ahead and get yourself a little gapper. Is that what it's called, a gapper? So that you can double check and make sure your gap is right. On my 75 302, the gap is 0.44. So every time I check my spark plugs, I just check, make sure it's 0.44, and then I pop them in. Number four, you wanna be very careful when you're putting the spark plug back in your engine. So one of the things that I do is I tighten my spark plugs all the way by hand until it stops and then I use a wrench to just get it that last little bit. And the reason is you just don't want to strip the, the, those threads on your heads. Threads on heads, that rhymes. Number five, make sure that when you're changing your spark plugs, you don't just yank all your spark plug wires out and hope that they'll go back the same way they came out. You want to replace your spark plugs one at a time so you don't get your wires confused or crossed. It's something that you don't really think about until you're in the middle of it and you're like, oh crap, where do all these wires go back to? There's a firing order on your engine and so you want to keep the right spark plug wire with the right spark plug hole. So it's super important, don't just yank all the wires. And that leads us to number six. When you are removing the spark plug wire, grab it from the boot, like the bottom of the wire, the part that is on top of the spark plug, and pull that out. If you pull it up high where the, the actual wire is, then what happens a lot of time is you rip that wire out of the, the part that goes on top of the spark plug. I've done it so many times, I've destroyed so many spark plug wires because you just pop open your engine and you're like, oh yeah, and just rip it out and then you rip the whole thing apart. So grab it by the boot when you pull it out. Number seven, make sure that you put a little silicone grease on the boot of the spark plug wire that goes onto the spark plug. This just helps it gets a good connection on there, keeps it watertight, and uh, is just good for, you know, electricity going through and all that good stuff. 
So those are the tips to help you when you're changing your spark plugs. If you found any of this information helpful, there's a link in the description below to download the Better Bronco Challenge PDF. Go ahead and download it. It's free. It's for you and follow the steps to have a better Bronco. But here's the thing. If you really want to get serious about this, there's a video series at betterbronco.com and you can buy the entire series and go through all of the steps that hundreds of people have gone through to get their Broncos in the best shape that it's been in for years. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.